At the heart of the bustling capital stands a significant monument of orthodoxy, the prestigious Holy Monastery of Incorporeal Saints, the Archangels, the so-called Petrarca Monastery. The work of the monastery not only at a spiritual, but also at a national as well as a social level, is inestimable. The erection of the first small church is dated at the beginning of the 10th century AD. This chapel, of Byzantine architecture, was built with rubble masonry. The continuous operation of the church had as a result its strong stress, until in the 17th century it was absolutely spoiled and utterly derelict. Then in the year 1673 AD, the Peloponnesian hieromonk Parthenios Petrakis comes to Athens, renovates the church and founds the monastery. A related inscription preserved over the southwestern column refers to the renovation of the monastery by the hieromonk Parthenios Petrakis. The Catholicon belongs to the type of the composite four-columned cruciform inscribed domed church. In the 15th century, the small Byzantine Arthex was replaced, whose relics one can discern in the side walls of the present Essen Arthex, and in the 19th century was added also the Exon Arthex. The two small Arthexes were unified harmoniously, with their masonry, typical of the era of the Ottoman rule, being rubble stones with fragments of tiles and bricks, which were unified by the use of mortar. The church constituted a unique specimen of the complex cruciform type in the Halladic area of the 10th century AD, and yet owing to the many interventions, repairs and reconstructions in the period of the Ottoman rule, but also subsequently, the form of the monument changed. But it never lost its Byzantine identity, as it retained its basic features. The dome is supported by four monolithic columns with Ionian and Corinthian capitals. There are two columns inside the sanctuary and two others in the nave. The masonry of the church follows the cloisonné system, while the immuration of dressed stones and marble pieces from a more ancient building has a purely decorative character. The monument is comprised of three conchs, which from both the interior but also their exterior side are semicircular. The central conch is older and larger than the others, and probably it is an early Christian survival, while at the level of the start, it bears a relief cornice, which is comprised of rows of stylized palmettes alternating with crucifixes. It has a three-light window, whose lobes are divided by thin marble columnettes, which bear relief columns, have a crucifix with four ivy leaves, with the small stem to the internal side of the church. At the external side, it bears a pomet with ivy leaves at the top. The two side conchs each have of a two light window. The present dome of the church originates from the conversion of the original and is dated to approximately the 15th century AD. The entire circumference of the dome is surrounded by two dental courses. It is a mixture of circular and octagonal dome with concave sides and curvilinear angles, alternately perforated, forming four small windows with a rich ceramic decoration. The dome of the internal narthex is smaller and less elegant than the central dome. Via three gates, the visitor can reach the nave, with the middle gate being sizable and apsed, in contrast to the side gates, which are clearly smaller. The icon painting of the Catholicon was implemented in three phases. The first phase is dated in the 15th century, and small residues are preserved at the Holy Bema. During the second phase, in 1719, the nave was crafted by the known icon painter of the era, Giorgios Marcos, who delivered the icon painting of the church with Cretan-style frescoes. The murals of the internal and the external narthex are classified under the third phase and are works of the modern icon painter Caruso's. The murals of the nave start at a height of 1.5 meters from the ground. On the parametrical walls, saints are depicted and at other parts of the church, scenes from the Holy Scripture are painted. On the dome is depicted the Pantocrator God, who is surrounded by a narrow fascia. 
Under the dome, in the pendentives, one notes the four evangelists. In the barrel vaults are depicted the houses, oikoi, of the Akafist hymn. And at the extension to the holy beamer is depicted Virgin Mary, who became the bridge for the sky to be united to the earth. In the courtyard of the monastery, one can behold parts of monolithic marble columns, a small ancient funerary plaque on which is depicted a flower at the upper part and an inscription in the lower part is preserved next to the tomb of the teacher of the nation Constantino Sekonomu. A marble Byzantine sarcophagus is preserved without a cover and is placed in the middle of the southern side of the Catholicon. Last, in the northern side of the Catholicon have been immured architectural Byzantine parts of columns architraves and plaques with sculpts. This can lead to the conclusion that on the site where the monastery was founded stood an ancient shrine, perhaps until and including the 6th century AD.